Welcome to Differentiation Rules, uh, part two of our Calc 1 review. So we're just going to run through our basic differentiation rules. The first one is multiplying by a scalar. So this is if we have wish to take the derivative of a scalar c times the function f of x. This is equivalent to the scalar c times the derivative of f of x or in other words, c times f prime of x. Uh, next up, we have our uh, addition rule. So if we wish to take the derivative of a function f of x plus or minus a function g of x, uh, this is equivalent to taking the two derivatives separately and then either adding or subtracting them. So we are looking at the derivative I'm going to use the prime notation. We are looking at f prime of x plus or minus g prime of x. Uh, putting these two rules together, we can take, and along with the power rule, we can take the derivative of any polynomial. So for example, if we wish to take the derivative of 4x cubed, minus 2x squared plus 5. Uh, this is equivalent to doing 4 times the derivative of x cubed minus 2 times the derivative of x squared plus the derivative of 5. And of course, power rule, x cubed goes to 3x squared. So we have 4 times 3x squared minus 2 times 2x. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of a constant is 0. And we wind up with our 12x squared minus 4x. Next up, we have our chain rule. Chain rule applies to a composition of functions. So if we wish to take the derivative of f of g of x, this is equivalent to taking the derivative of f and evaluating it at g of x, and then multiplying by g prime of x. So for example, If we wish to take the derivative of sine of x squared, I'm going to go ahead and label the inner function just u. So we essentially are looking at, we'll take the derivative with respect to u of sine of u. And then we'll multiply by the derivative of u with respect to x as the alternative way of thinking of this. So derivative of sine, of course, is cosine. So we'll have cosine of u and then times the derivative of our u was x squared. And so we wind up with a cosine of x squared times 2x. Uh, next up, we have our product rule. The product rule says that if I wish to take the derivative of f of x, times g of x. This is equivalent to doing the derivative of f, f prime of x, times g of x, plus f of x times g prime of x. So for example, if I wish to take the derivative of uh, x squared times cosine of x. 
can go ahead and take x squared to be my f of x. And uh, cosine of x to be my g of x. Then we have f prime is 2x. And g prime of x would be a negative sine of x. And so putting this in the formula, we get that our derivative would be derivative of the first is 2x times g of x, so times cosine of x, plus our first x squared times the derivative of the second, so times a negative sine of x. And our last rule we're going to take a look at is our quotient rule. So our quotient rule says if we wish to take the derivative of f of x divided by g of x, that this is equivalent to doing the derivative of f, f prime of x times g of x. Then subtracting off f of x times g prime of x, and then divide that whole thing by g of x squared. So for example, if we wish to take the derivative of x over tangent of x, we'll take the x to be our f of x since it's up top. Our g of x is tangent of x. Then our f prime of x is one. Our g prime of x is secant squared of x. And then we wind up getting, we do derivative of the first. So we'll have one times g of x, so one times tangent of x minus f of x. Oh, I need to update my screen, I apologize. Uh, and we have minus f of x so minus x times g of x, so times tangent of x, sorry, times g prime of x, so times secant squared of x. And then the whole thing is divided by g of x squared. So we'll divide by tangent of x squared. So this leaves us tangent of x minus x times secant squared x, all divided by tan squared x. So this was just a quick review of the various differentiation rules that we see in this course, or that we see in Calc 1. Uh, in the next videos, we'll get into a quick review of integration.